How much do you think consumption has to do, to do with improving creativity? Because in order to combine many things together, you have to know and you have to experience many things, right? You have to see the world. You have to learn new things. You have to watch. You, you have to experience. And so, how, like, do you think there's a, a specific balance between consumption and then creation? Should we minimize consumption or should we maximize it to be creative? It's kind of uh, a difficult It's a balance of, of consumption and production. And you've mentioned this. Too many video games, yeah. And you're not actually producing any video games. Yeah. Mahali Sikhsintmahai said that consuming culture is never as satisfying or rewarding as producing it. Yeah, I agree. And, you know, I think it was John Gardner in his book, The Art of Fiction, talked about that even by the time you're four years old, you have all the raw material you need to be a novelist as far <laughs> as the experiences of life. You've experienced abandonment, you've experienced hatred, you've experienced terror, you've experienced all these things. So you've got raw material there okay. to tell stories. Now it's a matter of getting it out. So, And when you look at how creative children are by putting things together with their very limited yeah, but they're not solving real problems. They're just, they're kind of just oh, they doing are. things random. I mean, I guess though, so, yeah. but so yeah, children have a, enough to do things, but not enough to like make a movie or, no. or solve, you know, um, cure a disease, you know. All right. Let's take, should I give an example from yeah. the childhood of someone I know and love? Uh, Your son? Yeah, yeah. Okay. When he was two years old, at, for some reason, he had never seen a flashlight. For he some had, reason? He had seen a garden hose, but I had this flashlight. I thought, I, I want him to see this. And so I'd shine it, and he'd look around at it, and it was amazing. There's something in his hand, and you don't see the beam, and you see the result over it. And he said, squirt it over here. <laughs> He had seen a hose, he had never seen a flashlight, and he put the two together. So what was his intent was to communicate to me to do something, and he did this two-year-old connection that was, right. it was creative to solve a problem of, of communication. Yeah, I get it. So he figured out how to tell you to flash the light over there. He had a problem, he solved it, made yeah. a uh, connection nobody else would make, and it's worth But you're not trying to say that a, a two-year-old or a four-year-old has, a, has consumed enough to now be able to just create throughout their adult life. I am not. You still not. have to be consuming all the time. Now, let's, let's back up, because I know we're <laughs> chasing rabbit trail. <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess what I, my actual question is, how do you figure out that balance in your life? Because I know you consume. Mm -hmm. You watch a lot of old movies, old and you movies. watch them like 100 times yeah. each. Yeah. Does that consumption make you more creative? By watching the same movie uh, so many times? Not necessarily. Why do you do it? I do it because I teach story students. And I'm digging around in the treasure you chest. You teach story students or you teach students story? I teach students of story. Oh, story I, students. I, I teach <laughs> students about stories and particularly visual stories. And digging around in these old movies is digging around in treasure chests and pulling up coins so you watch them so many there. times because you're teaching that people this stuff. That's right. Okay. I've got enough to keep it's us busy for, for 10 creativity. years. It's not for your own creativity. Oh, but it, no, but it's for my own enjoyment. Okay. There's so many good ones. Uh, you can't teach creativity to people who are not interested in it. People who want to solve problems can learn a few things. And where we are in the conversation, I don't know whether we should do wrap up to Do you have any other advice for people who are already creative but want to improve their creativity? Yes. You do? Yes. They are, they are some books. They are the one that I've already mentioned. Gabriel Rico's Writing the Natural Way is the most practical I know. Alongside that, I would put Sterling Hundley's Ideation Course. Those are the two best practical resources I know. Do, 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 do